one of the best things you can do for yourself to make beading easy is to figure out how you want to hold what you're going to bead on. I usually stretch it between this finger and this finger, generally, is what I do. And also the direction in which you bead. I'm right-handed. I'm going to show you how it is, how I bead comfortably right-handed. I have taught beading classes for a few years, and I've certainly taught some people who are left-handed. Some people just do it exactly opposite. I have to, and I have to show them just the opposite way to do it. And some people, you know how some people write left-handed, they, they totally curve their, some people curve their hand around and try to accommodate. It just depends, you know, on, on, on your own technique. But really figure out, we, we, I've spent, you know, a lot, I don't know, like a long time working on a project and then realizing that I was kind of holding it wrong and I was beating in the wrong direction. And that's just something that comes with practice and with improving your technique just by, by doing something. But it's really important because it just makes it easier instead of a chore. So here's a little scrap of brain tan leather. And I'm going to come up through the hide. I knotted my... And I'm going to show you how I, if, if your beads are loose, just put them in a bowl and then just scoop them up like this, okay? That's the way to you do it if your beads are loose. Just scoop them. And if you have more than one color, have more than one bowl and scoop. I've seen people mix all their beads together for a project and then they have to pick out each bead. Mmm, really time consuming. If you're going to take your beads off of a hank, just unloosen one strand and just take the beads off of it like that and they'll just slide right off the the hank string onto the beading string can you do that real one easy time? i'll show you okay i'll try it again just have your beads like this say you're going to put on a few of these slide it off like that and then they're on your your beading thread Hmm. The size 12 needles I use are small enough that if you're making a mistake, you can just, they'll just, they'll fit through about anything. You can just pull it out. You can even pull it right back out. I'll show you. Through the leather, if you do make a mistake, generally, they'll just come right back out so you can start over. Can you do that again? I missed mm -hmm. it. I was talking about the size 12s. If you make a mistake, you do this. This needle is, is fairly thin, and if you're making a mistake, it's thin enough so that you can carefully pull it right out through the hole you made. It's really nice to be able to do that if you want to, if you want to fix 